Hi, welcome back to Community Hotline. I'm Monica Weitzel, and with me now for my second segment, I'm happy to welcome back Becky Coleman, who is the director and founder of My Sister's House. Thanks for being here, Becky. Thank you, Monica. It's nice to have you on again. I've um, Since, I think, the last time you were on, I actually had the pleasure of visiting you at My Sister's House, so I yes. know what a, what a lovely home you have there, and, and, um, and I already know about the good work you're doing. So why don't you tell our viewers that maybe aren't familiar with My Sister's House exactly what it is you do and what your program is about. Okay. Well, we help women with children who've suffered domestic violence or some form of abuse. What we're trying to do is help them reconnect their, uh, recreate their lives, um, give them an opportunity to heal their wounds, uh, establish a relationship with the Lord, uh, build on their uh, parenting skills and their life skills. And, and it's not a transitional, I mean, it's not, a, um, it's not an emergency shelter. This is something that you work on, you work with them for like several months. Oh, it? lots, <laughs> yeah, a long time. A long time. Because it takes for three months it takes a while for the women to uh, not look over their shoulder. Sure, and be and, afraid all the time. Yes, yes, or have an abuser. And then, uh, you know, just coming around the corner. Uh, but then uh, they get into a routine. Uh, they establish some structure. And, and then they can stability. And then they can start thinking about their future. Right. Uh, how can I support my family? What amount of money will it take? What kind of education will I need? So you All give them the time to, to actually settle in, calm down, collect themselves, and then you help them with that, don't you? You help yes. them get into, um, well, you, you have classes and workshops and things like yes, that? Yes, right? we do. We, well, we partner with um, uh, WorkSource mm -hmm. Oregon. And so the women can take classes to learn how to do their resumes and uh, do some active job search. Uh, we work with uh, Mount Hood Community College so the women can transition. They have a transitions program mm -hmm. so that they can uh, uh, develop uh, an entry into uh, an education, you know, a career field that they might be interested so in. So people go from your place, when they're ready to go out on their own, then mm -hmm. they are either going into a job or a school. Right. Is that correct? Uh -huh. or, and they're equipped. They're equipped to take care of their family and be off state support. Great. Because most of them are. And, and you do take children too. So th these are women with children. That's, yes. that's what that's who you're yes. helping. Yes. And so you uh, must have some child care there for the, when they yes. go out to look for jobs <laughs> and that kind of thing. Yes, we do. And I, but that's you a lot of yes. times, isn't it? Oh my goodness. If we didn't have child care, we couldn't have program. Child care is one of the biggest things. You it know, is. and the state doesn't always offer it for the programs that we offer. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they have a lottery system, but you know, it's very few and far between that they get into it. And so we offer it on site. And just this last summer, we were able to uh, uh, participate in a summer works program through ERCO. Oh. And so we had some uh, interns come over and we've been able to hire them for the oh, child care. Oh, great. Oh, yeah. That's wonderful. Oh. Child care is by far the most expensive thing, I think, yes. for a young parent. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, sometimes it's not even worth it to go to work because yes. of the, the prohibitive cost of child care. At well, least good you work to pay care. the child care. Yeah, so yeah. it's hard to even, yes. there's not much um, incentive there to, to help you get ahead if, you, yes. if you're paying all your money for child yes. care. So that's very frustrating. Well, and it's, it's security for the women too to have their child on site. Oh, sure. And for the same, uh, it's continuity for the children to have the same person come and see them every day. Right, right. You know, and they, they uh, benefit from routine and structure sure. as well. Kids need that, they, yes. and they need their set boundaries and you know all that, yes, all that kind of thing. So, um, so what's your biggest challenge in, in in running running this home for the? Well, just making sure we have money. No. <laughs> well, no, no, that's probably making, a realistic making answer. Making sure everything everything just flows. And that's kind you of know. your job, isn't it? Yeah, that's my job as but director. I imagine the finance is a huge, huge part of it. I mean, yes. because do you um, exist mostly on donations? Donations yeah. and grants. Okay. And we've been writing a lot of grants this past year. And as a matter of fact, we have at least three new uh, partners oh, in great. our grants. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's so wonderful. that's exciting. Thank goodness for good community members. I know. <laughs> I want to help them. <laughs> but you do, a lot of, you do a lot of fundraising. You do like little things that it seems like throughout the year. A lot, you know, smaller yes. things, sometimes like the burger. Uh, is it oh, the Burgerville. Burgerville, yeah, Burgerville. we and, have that. Uh, we have yeah. a partnership with the one over on Hogan. Okay. And the second and Tuesdays of every month now until the end of the year. Uh, we have, uh, you can come and eat between five and eight, and we get a percentage of those Which is profits. great. I mean, that's, that's yes. wonderful to have community yeah. partners like that. Oh, it's It's, it's awesome. almost impossible to survive without them. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, you have a, uh, there's another uh, non or event coming up. 
Yes. That you were telling me about today. And what does it call it again? It's walk. It's a walk a mile in her shoes. Walk a mile. And this is, uh, is, is it to, to educate people or is it to raise money or both? Well, it's mostly to educate because okay. the, um, the fee is only 10 bucks to participate. Okay, so it's but, Walk a Mile in Her Shoes and it's right. for uh, victims domestic of violence, domestic, uh -huh, violence. domestic violence awareness. And uh, um, yeah, um, Allstate, which is our uh, agency, uh, is well known throughout the nation for doing things like this, for oh, promoting uh, uh, domestic violence. And, not promoting, um, promoting, well, yeah. making awareness, yeah. not promoting, <laughs> you know, sorry, I don't think they're promoting about, domestic violence. I don't want to do that, uh, wrong words, but at any rate, yeah, um, our agent, Carrie Fox, and her husband, Justin, uh, put together this event for us and wanted to do something for the ministry, so I thought that was just awesome. That's wonderful. Now, yes. you, sent, you, you gave me one of the flyers, and I, yes. and I think we, we've got one, we'll probably show if they haven't done it already. Okay. It cracked me up, because oh. it said on there, what did it say, something about men? Uh-huh put on your high heels and yes. come walk with us or yes. something like that to yes. walk a mile in her shoes. Right. <laughs> Do you think some men will show up in the high heels? Oh, yes, I'm sure. You know what? We've asked um, a Blazer alumni to come. Oh, how are and, they going to find high heels and, in size 14? Well, I don't know what size. <laughs> <laughs> We're hoping that Jerome Kersey will show up. That would be and great. I've already asked uh, his rep, uh, Rhonda, what size you wear so I can look for, for him. So oh. I'm excited about that. And the whole idea is for, for not that these guys would would be domestic uh, abusers, but to, uh, to, to understand the pain that some of these women have experienced. It's not easy for a guy to wear high heels. Well, it's not, it's not easy, easy for women to wear It's not easy for women to wear them either, but also for women to, you know, carry groceries or children or uh, an umbrella when it's raining and push the, the stroller. It's not easy to do all those things. So to understand and have some empathy f toward their uh, position. That's what it's about. I hope about. you get a whole bunch of men showing up in high heels because I would <laughs> I just so love too. to see that. I hope so too. And I've already invited the Lions Club and the firemen, and I know a couple of policemen that might do it too. I think that would be great. So, I think yeah. we should go to you know all the resale shops and see if we can find it. The biggest the high biggest heels we high can heels. find. Yeah. And have them ready for them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it would be fun. So that's going to be, what is the date of that? It's event? October 26th. Okay. It's the last Sunday of the month. Okay. And it's at noon. We do our staging at uh, Gresham Memorial Chapel on Roberts. Oh, okay. And yeah. then we'll walk up to uh, Powell. We're oh. hoping that Jerome will lead us. And then we'll just go down uh, Powell and then back on the other side. And, oh, how fun. Yeah. So it's so a nice little walk because you yeah. can't walk very far in high heels, no, whether you you're can't. a man or a woman. No. <laughs> that I'm sure is even harder for yeah. men. I think yeah. that sounds like great fun. Yeah. So um, so that, so that, some of the proceeds from that will benefit oh, all my the, sister. All, all the, the proceeds, proceeds will come yeah. because then, it'll, it's, uh, yeah, they're promoting everything and then everything will just be donated. Oh, great for them to do that for you, Allstate. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So um, do you have other things that are coming up in the next year? Or um, I know you told me that there's going to be an article in the, in the Outlook oh, about Oh, that's right. About my sister's yeah, house. we're having some challenges. And so there will be an article in the paper uh, Friday, I think. Oh, Lisa's good. Gonna okay. Put that so if people want to find out yeah. more about uh -huh. my sister's house and some of the things that you are going through right now, some of your, some of your pains uh, yes. of trying to keep things going, mm -hmm. um, the Outlook will have the article. Yeah, and volunteer. We need lots of volunteers. What would you have volunteers us. do, Becky? Well, they can do it. Anything from uh, watching the house while I, I go out in the community and do something or just take a breather. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you need um, a break can, once in a while. Yes. Yeah. Um, they can take some of the women grocery shopping. Oh, okay. uh, You know, and I just... That's we, an easy thing to do. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we do, well, of course, the gals were there at the house. We have mommy time on Wednesdays, and so we had the gals caring for the kids, and one of the moms needed grocery shopping, so I didn't have a volunteer, so I took an hour out of my time to buzz her to the grocery store and buzz back. You yeah, know, so yeah. we were a little bit late, so the gals ended up staying a little bit over. But that would eliminate. You that's know, an those easy types thing. If things. somebody has, mm -hmm. you know, a couple hours a week available, yes. I mean, that would be a huge help. Yes. And and it takes so little time, especially yes. people that live in the area, in the you know East County area. Right. So that would be right. That would be wonderful. Help. That would yeah. be wonderful. And the, and just to come and befriend the women. You know, they're busy, single moms yeah. with kids. Mo you know, they they lead harried lives. They get frustrated and well, you know, and yeah, I'm tired sure. and yeah. you know, just to get a breather and chat with somebody. Go off for take coffee. them out for coffee or something. Yes. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Take them out for coffee. What mm -hmm. about? Um, don I know, obviously, monetary donations are always very welcome. What yes. about um, like personal supplies, kitchen supplies, oh, we cleaning need toilet supplies? Paper. Yeah, we always need toilet paper. <laughs> 
<laughs> toilet paper and paper towels. Yeah. That yeah. would be awesome. Those kind of paper products. I yes. mean, those things I imagine you go through quickly. And, yes. Yeah. House full of women. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And okay. diapers for the little people. Oh, and those are We so have, expensive. let's yeah. see right now, we have three toddlers, and they're all in various stages of uh, potty, potty training. training. And then we have a uh, one-year-old. I actually have four toddlers. Uh, and so, yeah. Do you have any little all babies? Um, no. Not right no. now. Mm -mm. I remember last time you were on, I think there was a woman who was getting ready to give birth, I think. Yes, and she did have her baby, yeah, but yeah. she's moved on. Yeah. yeah. So do you keep in touch with some of the women after they leave? Oh, of course I do. Yeah. I have like 20 of them on wow. Facebook. Really? Yes. <laughs> Do they let you know how they're doing? Oh, yes. What, how, yeah. how, what's, what kind of a success rate do you have? Do you know? I mean, do 80%. 80? Yeah, that's pretty darn good. Yeah, and that's pretty good. good. You know, well, the women are learning a new lifestyle. Yeah, well, that's and hard. And I'm befriending them just as if they were my daughters, you wow. know. Yeah. And the kids and uh, whatnot. So. Is, it, is it somehow, like, somehow I get the feeling that um, being a victim of domestic violence could sometimes be like an addiction? Yes. Because that's it's what you know, and it, you go back to it because... You're fam it's familiar, it's familiar. Yeah. and that is, it is an addiction. Yeah. It really is, and, and you, can, you can go so far in a program and be successful, and then all of a sudden you don't know how to continue, like maybe and something so you comes sabotage up you, yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Something yeah, and comes I've up that just that throws happen. you and yeah. 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 So that's where the stability of faith comes in, where the routine of going to church, you know, having Bible studies, we mm -hmm. have our daily uh, word and uh, all the time that we can spend chatting with each other and encouraging each other. Yeah. Uh, so having a support group is probably mm -hmm. gonna be a yes. huge And it's built thing. in with all the ladies that are yeah. there, it's built in. Yeah. And they really develop a lot of relationships. I bet so. It's very positive. You're doing, you're doing good work, Becky. It's, it's, oh. it's got to be a very a big challenge at times. It is a challenge, but I love it. <laughs> well, it's, it's become your life. So, it's, I mean, yes. this, is, this exactly. is what you do. Yes, it's um, what I do. I so couldn't imagine doing anything else, really. Is I that can't. terrible? Maybe, no. Maybe one day when I retire, I can fish with my brother, but there that's about it. <laughs> it's, it was your calling. I think yes. it was your calling, so you're yeah. doing what you were supposed to be doing. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and I appreciate it. I'm sure the women you've helped are immensely grateful. Yes. So if people um, are interested in helping my sister's house, they can go to your website or your yes. Facebook page. Uh -huh. um, they can uh, donate uh, toilet paper or yes. paper towels or, <laughs> yes. um, you know, I'm sure other personal items would be welcome too. Yes. Um, they could come, they could contact you and figure out a way that maybe they could take somebody out to coffee, maybe babysit yes. or, or just come visit or yes. um, take somebody grocery shopping or yes. to a hair appointment or whatever. Yes. Um, yes. They also, you also welcome you know, donations and yeah. any kind of volunteer work. But the, uh, the, the event that you have coming up is October 26th, 26th mm -hmm. and it's a Sunday. Yes. And what time? 12. 12 noon. Yeah. And meet at the Gresham. Gresham uh, Memorial Chapel. They're uh, on Roberts. Roberts. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, and if you're a man, bring your high heels. <laughs> Yes, or we'll have some. We'll or we'll see if we can find some high heels. Yes, yes. And, and ladies, bring your camera so that yes. you can take pictures oh, of the men in their high heels and you can I put them on Facebook. Be lots of fun. <laughs> so this is uh, really to, to, uh, to, um, to help educate people about domestic violence yes. and, the, and the things that women go through and, um, and then any money that's collected will help my yes. sister's house. Yes, yeah. And check out the Outlook on Friday Yes, for the yes. article about it. Yes, yes. And we're also, uh, um, Allstate has a purple purse. I don't know if you ever heard about that. Tell but me about the purple purse. There's we all don't have much time, but I want to hear about the okay. purple purse. There's all <laughs> kinds of abuse. You know, mm -hmm, there's mm -hmm. the, the purple bruises that you see or right. stuff that you see inside, yes. but there's financial abuse as well. Mm -hmm. Where And that's that's some of what I experienced where, uh, you know, your, your abuser money's... took hold of the money and if you, you couldn't get any, that he controlled it all. Oh, yeah, and so yeah. the purple purse. That represents and, that? Right. Okay. And we will be presenting that at council chambers uh, the 21st. You'll be presenting a purple purse. A purple purse for a councilwoman to wear. Oh, I love uh, it. In recognition. That's great. That's great. Awareness Good for deal. the domestic violence. Okay. I'll be so. watching for a purple purse around yes. Gresham. Yes. <laughs> Thanks yes. so much, Becky. I yeah, appreciate thank you being you, on. Monica. You bet. Thanks for watching this segment of, of Community Hotline. I hope you learned something about my sister's house. And uh, don't go away. We'll be right back with more. Mm -hmm.